editing Kim here. Just quickly before I start, I just want to do a little disclaimer and say don't take anything I say in this too seriously, don't go after the people because they have a different take to you. It's totally fine. It's part of the fun of the game and I love that we all have different views and it's awesome. Thank you and thanks so much for watching. Hello everyone, it's Kim here. Now today's video is a little bit of a different one. Um, I am going to be reacting to your hot takes. Thank you to everybody who has submitted some hot takes. There are some interesting ones and there are quite a few. So thank you for that. Now while I am re reacting to these hot takes, I thought that I would work on redesigning one of our villagers houses. This is for my island Mochi and it has a bit of an interesting theme. I will link that in the description because it's quite a long winded theme. But basically for this home we are going to be going for a sort of pastel ethereal cloud theme. I still want to keep some pink in there it to fit with the rest of the island. But that's what we're going for and it's Etoile. <laughs> but now that we are getting into there I will get started. Before I do uh, make sure you like and subscribe thank you and let me know your takes in the comments whether you agree with what I say whether you agree with what the, some of the comments say or whether you very much disagree let me know. I have split them into six different categories we have got the content, design, Villages, NPC, community, and some more slightly interesting ones that didn't fit anywhere. Now, the first one we have says it is from Ryan in, on Twitter, and Ryan said, I think 2.0 was fabulous, but due to some fans flashing out at Nintendo, it was dumped on us all at once. If Nintendo could have delivered the mechanics throughout 2022, the game would have retained its hype longer than the 2.0 burnout did. It was too much too fast. I also want to complain about the, some of the game items. In Pocket Camp, villagers can ride or enjoy items at their leisure. In Animal Crossing New Horizons, they can't ride a ferris wheel or sit in a hot tub or interact with most of the large items. I feel like that was a huge missed opportunity. And last but not least, one item I'd modify for the game would be Misfortune. Not bad luck, but nature events that require you to inter interact with your island. Have storms damage trees, require maintenance like raking leaves. So let's start with the 2.0 update. I 100% I agree. I definitely think they were planning to space things out longer because they knew that it would be years before a new Animal Crossing game would come out and so they wanted to I guess milk things as long as they put could. I mean milk's probably not the right word because it sounds a bit nasty but I do think they were intending to to keep things to be updated slower. Um, in saying that Nintendo aren't one who and I'm not saying this in a bad way, <laughs> Nintendo aren't the sort to necessarily listen to, necessarily for listen to fans. So I agree, but also even though I said 100% agree, I do, but with a caveat in that. Uh, it may have been the point, may not have. And as for some of the items in the game, yeah, so um, there, there was, there is some talk about that, this, and that the fact that a lot of the items were actually outsourced and made by a different company. They weren't made by, made by Nintendo, and I think that may be where this um, comes in to play. I guess you know that a lot of the items may um, may have worked better with more interacting, but they don't. And I completely agree; it'd be fun. I, I think it's a combination of that, but also the um, the fact that the Switch in itself is a limited console. Now, granted, the DS was, well, 2DS, 3DS were way more limited, but I still think it may be partly that as well. Um, and Miss Fortune, that would be fun. I agree, that would be really cool, as long as it didn't ruin my game too much. <laughs> I just, you know, uh, it would be, I think, you know, with the little caveats that it could, you know, that you don't lose things too much. I don't want it to become too much like, say, SimCity or something like that, where 
Um, you know what I mean? There's where there's big destruction. <laughs> but great ones, great takes, Ryan. Thank you. Uh, next one came from Discord. It was Lily, and Lily said cooking is one of the best features that Animal Crossing added to 2.0 besides the storage sheds. This is an interesting one for me. I agree that the cooking is really, really cool. Do I ever use the cooking DIYs? Never. <laughs> it is very, very rare for me to use the cooking DIYs. So I agree to a point, but I also, um, I think it's really awesome, but it's not something I use a lot and I feel bad saying that. <laughs> All right, next one is from YouTube. Kitty Crossing said the game is complete and doesn't need any more updates. I'm tired of people seeing of seeing people on Twitter and Instagram saying the game needs more updates or has a lack of content. So this is a really really good point, and I think it'll get brought up a few times in some of the other the other hot takes we'll come across. I would love the game to have more. But I agree that it doesn't need it. It is such a full, huge game. And I do think a lot of the reason that people want more content and, or think it's missing things or think it needs more, uh, well, there are things I would love to change. I'll, I'll, I'll add that. I do think some of it comes from the fact we've put over a thousand hours into it, a lot of us. Like, I've put easily 1500 hours into this game. <laughs> And I have no plans to stop, but I do have breaks and I do sometimes wish there was more, you know, just the, just the, the, if I, if I didn't have my channel, I would probably be taking more breaks than I do, but my channel does keep it fun for me for sure. Um, and uh, honestly, it's, other than The Sims, it's probably one of my most, ga most played games ever. Angus on Discord said, I think we sh we should interact with with our friends more by let's say being able to give them a hug. I think the game could really look really friendly to those who just think you're making an island with people on it. I do think more interactions like that would be really cool. Just little things that if you could do them with say the villagers or with your friends when they were visiting. If they were just like there are a lot of cool interactions and if you do them, the villagers often respond and do them back. But I I agree that. Things like a hug or a high five even. A high five would be really cool. Or maybe it's just me that still thinks high fives are cool. No. <laughs> but I, I definitely agree, Angus. And I love the reactions. I love that they added a whole lot of dance moves. But I could I could do with more. Last one that comes under content is from Peppy Penguin. Hey, Peppy. And it is from Discord. And Peppy said, I say, I'd say we should be able to put custom designs on the outside of our house. It could look super beautiful. So this makes me think of Grow Song of the Evertree, where you can put, like you get you get wallpaper, I guess. It's, I was going to say custom designs, but you get wallpaper that you can put on the outside of your house, on the roof, and roof decorations. And it's so cool. And I agree that, I mean, I just think the house, house exterior decorating is kind of limited. A lot of the colours don't match. And I agree. I definitely think that would be cool. So 100% with you there, Peppy. Next, we're up to design. Now, as you can tell, content and design are going to have some sort of similar themes through them. But first one is Samantha on Twitter. Uh, you don't have to use paths everywhere or at all. If you like the grass, leave it. Absolutely. I think people get too focused on thinking they have to put something everywhere. And you don't. Open space can look really great in the game. Soaking the grass, I think it looks awesome. And I think it's just, you know, and if you want to put something in that space, but you've got this big open area, just put something simple if you want, like a little picnic or an outdoor theater, something that, that uses the grass. I, I totally agree with that. Chloe on Twitter, Chloe Plays says, New Horizons is essentially a decorating game and you'll enjoy it more if you appreciate it for what it is, rather than comparing it to New Leaf or previous Animal Crossing games. So I definitely think that this is something, a trap a lot of people fall into, is they see what's missing from it compared to older games and focus on that, oops, focus on that rather than on the, the awesome things that this game does have that those didn't, that those don't have. Alright, now this one, as you can see, I replied to at the time, 
I love this one. It's probably one of my favorite takes I got. And it's something that I really value and think is important that people remember. So Diablo Shadow said, hot take, your island is beautiful because it's yours. As you can see, I replied with, I love this so much. I sometimes hear people in chat saying bad things about their own islands because of something they see on stream. And it's like, no, your island is awesome too. Diablo replied, people need to understand that it isn't that it doesn't need to be a perfect masterpiece to be beautiful. What's beautiful about Animal Crossing is it's your space to log in and chill out with your villagers and do the things you love. I love seeing everyone's islands. And this is 100% true. I think some people make absolutely amazing, amazing islands. And because they're not these super complex, detailed things, they, ins they insult their work and put themselves down. And, and I, don't, I don't agree with that. I think... You know, your your island is your island. It's your you know you've put you've put hard work into it. Oh, my battery's low. <laughs> you've you've put so much into it, your heart and soul, and that's totally fine if it looks different from what other people do. I I love seeing the difference differences, and and if you want to make super complex detailed islands or want to be fancier with your work, then then have the patience it takes a really really long time to to get your skills up now i can't pronounce this name so i won't even try <laughs> but the simpler your simpler your island the nicer it is and um, now if only the big tree would come back like a new leaf i haven't played new leaf long enough to know what the big tree is i'm sorry but i definitely agree that um Firstly, I think it's up to you, up to the individual, how you want to make your island look is how it should look. Um, but as a personal thing that I like is I really appreciate it if an island is open and, well not, it doesn't necessarily have to be open, but it is easy to navigate. I love clear paths, I love just things like that to make it, it for me as a visible, visitor that I can, I can get around without getting lost. And also for people that, um, like, just because I'm someone that likes to, to actually play the game and not just decorate, um, even though I do love decorating, um, I really like to be able to get around an island easily. So that's a great, great take. Next up we have villagers. Now this is going to have some interesting ones, I think. <laughs> because villagers can have pretty, um, people can have pretty um, passionate opinions and takes when it comes to villagers. First up, Vicky Chan says, Raymond is an overrated villager and because of him and the fact that you can swap out and buy villagers, it has made the villagers into a trading guard game and I hate it. Um, so I love Raymond, <laughs> but I didn't know about the hype when he, when I discovered Raymond. I just thought he was cool. So I, I just still didn't really know about the hype until much later on and I think it's worn off a little bit which is good but the hype that came with it in, in initially when the game came out I agree that it has kind of made the villagers a little bit of a um, people treat them a bit like a, an asset if that makes sense uh, they get traded a lot and and again this game I think it's really important to remember how you want to play it is how you play it there are so many different ways to play Animal Crossing New Horizons however I think and granted I do it sometimes because I'll be making an island and it's not my main island my main island is very different but I do sometimes you know just sort of casually let villagers go and swap them and things but yeah it is definitely made that happen a little bit and the other thing is that I find it really surprising how much people are paying for villages. I just, I would never pay that. <laughs> I would hunt for a really long time. Or, you know, there are other ways to get villages without paying someone several million bells. But, um, that's for another day. <laughs> Fossil Jock Matt says, Pietro is just fine. I understand why some people don't like Pietro. Some people hate clowns and it's totally fine and he is a, a pretty unique design but he's one of my favourite villagers still. I, I love his weirdness. <laughs> he's great. 
Rowan Tito, one of our awesome mods, says, I don't know if this is a really a hot take, but I wish we could have the option to choose where we have villagers drop in, if at all. This is my first Animal Crossing game, so I was excited for the feature before, but now I'm afraid to stay in the house for too long. The visitors, that they really do like visiting, don't they? And they just don't leave. But I've started, if they visit and I don't want to interact with them, I have just started... Uh, <laughs> pretending to leave and just letting them leave and then I get back to whatever I'm doing so that's a tip if you need a way to you know if you want to get back to whatever you're doing and the villagers won't leave just pretend you're leaving and they'll go and you can get back to what you were doing <laughs> I highly recommend it Coversion has a few takes uh, firstly, the villager dialogue in this game is not bad. The only thing I can criticise it for is being too circumstantial. You have to be near a house or item or in a certain building. And if I am to add to this, they kind of break this rule when a player is visiting another island. I, you go to their, uh, someone else's island and talk to their villagers and they talk about something in the museum when you're outside. The fishing next take is the fishing tournament is the worst event in the game. The time limit makes fishing way too stressful and doesn't work at all. If the fishing was more arcade like this wouldn't be a problem. Um, in all honesty I think making the fishing tournament in Bagos time base was a mistake. They could have done without it. And lastly Kit is the cutest villager in the whole game. My argument the education hobby. She can be seen wearing glasses and reading to the baby. Cute. So cute. Um, so firstly villager dialogue. I I agree that it, I mean it's it's I think some of it's super cute. I think it is a little bit limited sometimes. I don't have a huge problem with it except for when it gets super repetitive. But then again, other games that I've played, some other games, just have the most repetitive you can speak to someone and then speak to them again a few seconds later and they say the exact same thing they just said to you. So I, I agree that the, the dialogue's not too bad. And as for the, the fishing tournament and the bug off, yeah, so I I think it's kind of interesting, the whole time-based thing. I don't mind too much how it works. However, it can be really easy to cheat in that you can just get some bait and just stand in the same place. And I think that's a bit... I, I, I don't like that aspect. However, I do like the tournaments. <laughs> they are fun. I just wish that like they were a real challenge, that there wasn't a certain amount that you could catch and that was it uh, in the three minutes. It, it just, it, And I do wish they just kind of mixed things up ever so slightly. I don't know how they would do that, but yeah. I, I, I agree to a point. <laughs> And as for Kit being the cutest villager in the whole game, that is something I honestly can't comment on because I have not interacted with Kit enough to agree or disagree. Alright, next one. The Roth Woman. Roth, hey! <laughs> Says, Isabel is the gatherer of feedback, not the judge for the island rankings, and thus shouldn't be blamed for deciding that your island is not good enough. In fact, judging from her reactions, it looks like she learns the island star ranking only when you ask her and is thus finding out at the same time you are. This one is such a good point. I had never even considered this or thought about it. And I think it's so true. She, she only gathers the feedback. She's not the one that says those things. So to blame her, well, I mean, not that anybody does necessarily, but to blame her for those, that feedback would be a little bit unfair but uh yeah that's an awesome one Roth thank you for that Picnic Animations hey Peck says people don't really care about their villages if you stop to talk they're actually really nice so I think I know where this has come from a lot of people that make content like I do we spend a lot of time designing on stream rather than in videos, rather than actually hanging out with and interacting with our villagers. And it's not that we don't. I spend a heck of a lot of time with my villagers off stream and chat with them and I love them. They're so awesome and I value them for their, you know, who they like their personalities. It's like Clay, he's my he's my ride or die. He's awesome and it's not a, not necessarily about the way he looks. He's just my guy. <laughs> So I definitely think that more people do think that way than you realise, but it 
doesn't come across that way online. Don't get me wrong, there are some people that do think that way, and we've discussed that a little bit before with the um, the people that treat them like trading card games. And yeah, now we're just gonna, this is unrelated, but we're just gonna ignore the fact that people can't get their legs in here. <laughs> I may move it again, but that's, that's the position for now. It's probably gonna move again. <laughs> Trial and error, part of the fun. Suki says, Tom Nook should have stayed in New Leaf and only come every week for an island evaluation like what Lyle did in New Leaf. Let me have Isabel and Dig Digby behind that resident services desk. I definitely think Digby should be more involved. I don't mind Tom Nook so much. I think he's okay, but it would be kind of cool to have have Digby involved with Happier in Paradise or, or something like that, you know, because at the moment, except for, you know, there's, I mean, not Happier in Paradise, sorry, um, the Happy Home uh what's the word when they come and judge your house every week anyway <laughs> i think having him having that because it's so faceless at the moment that that side of happy home it, so that would be really cool to you know add digby in somehow eris the cow says okay here goes oh, this one takes a different different um <laughs> a different row Isabel is way overrated. You should let Bladder's info dump about every donation and not just rudely skip it. It's inhumanly, in, inhumanely difficult to get all the few fruit varieties without paying for Nintendo Online. And not everyone has in real life friends to, that have the game. Also, fish, fishing tournaments suck compared to the bug offs because you can get at best like 8 fishes in 3 minutes, whereas with the bugs you can get double that and get the trophies easier. And Eris is also not a fan of the jocks and peppies except for Shino <laughs> so I I like Isabel I think she's really cool um the bladders one is interesting because I've played through several times now I skip what he says I'm one of those rude people but initially I listened to everything he said because I did find it interesting and it is really cool and yeah it's definitely worth worth doing worth um listening to him and I agree that the fruit is really hard to get. Other than other than one or two, is really hard to get unless you have friends who play the game and Nintendo Online, um, or if you have other other means of getting the items. <laughs> and another, yeah, the the the, the, bug, the fishing tournaments. It's the set. Like I think I was mentioning that before. I just they just they're fun, but not quite right. Right, you just can't. There's not enough variety, you can't get more than a f more than eight at a time, and yeah. As for jocks and peppies, I can handle max one peppy and one jock on my island at a time. It's not that I don't like them, they just I like the more cruisier personalities. Except for the grumpies. The grumpies, I mean the crankies, the crankies are awesome and I'll <laughs> I'll have loads of those on my island. <laughs> Rose got another one. Rose says that she likes Daisy May's nose drip as a fellow allergy sufferer and Wisp is one of my favourite NPCs. He's the first one to ro rotating one you ever met and always makes you go, aww. Uh, I don't like Daisy May's nose drip purely just because I'm a bit of a germaphobe. <laughs> and it's just, I, I, I can't, I can't do it. As for Wisp, I like Wisp, but the Wisp in new life is so much cooler and his outfit's cooler and he lives in a genie's bottle or something he lives in something and i can't remember off the top of my head. i'm pretty sure it's a genie's bottle but i just i think that's pretty hard to beat so that's why i'm not it's not that i don't like wisp he's just so much cool oh, that's the wrong item he is so much cooler in new life ryan has another one but this time on youtube Museum day. I wish this was a more interactive okay occasion. The museum is huge and has so much to offer. Searching for items to get the plaques is alright, but I feel like they could have done so much for, so much more, including bring blathers out to the plaza. Yes, I I, I enjoy museum day, but like the stamp rally, it, it's fun, but there's just not that much to it. There's just not like, cool. I've done this. What next? But there isn't anything else, <laughs> and it's a little bit. A little bit disappointing. I 100% agree. And Blathers spends a lot of time inside. The problem is, I don't think he wants to be awake during the day. So would it have to be a nighttime event? I'm sure you can think of people can think of some cool events we could make for him at nighttime. Does anyone have any great ideas? Let me know in the comments for sure. 
Poke Onyx says, Isabel likes the flowers too much, but to be fair, my eyelids started to look better when I added more, so... <laughs> Yeah, so this is an interesting one for me. It's the fences, I find. She tells me I need far more off plate all the time. Um, it does always seem to be one item, right? And the interesting with the thing with the flowers is there's, I think, the thing, there's a point you get to and you suddenly have too many flowers and the opposite keeps happening and you have to, you know, have less flowers. So finding that balance can be interesting with the flowers if you want five stars. Faye says Tom Nook did nothing wrong. <laughs> and cluttered islands are pretty, but what's the point if you can't move? Dreamies ruin the game. There are no bad or ugly villages. New Horizons is not pocket camp and I don't want it to be. Microtransactions can the right up again right off. <laughs> and people complain about no content in the game because they've played over a thousand hours in the first few months. It's not the game's fault. And lastly, comparison is the thief of joy. New Horizons is not new leaf, and nostalgia doesn't necessarily make something objectively better. Well, let's start with Tom Nook. Tom Nook's a funny one. I I agree he did nothing wrong, but I do, I, I have to admit, I do love the memes. <laughs> I find them kind of entertaining, but uh, I, I, I definitely agree that uh, he did nothing wrong. <laughs> As much as it pains me to admit that. And uh, cluttered islands are pretty, but what's the point if you can't move? Exactly! Exactly! <laughs> I'm glad you agree. Dreamies are in the game. I think that's what we were talking about before with the whole... The things have become sort of like trading cards. It's... Absolutely. I... Like, it's cool to want a villager, but... Or to want to sell a villager, but don't sell it for 10 million bells. It's, it's not cool. <laughs> In my opinion, anyway. It's, it's, yeah, not cool. New Horizons is not pocket camp, and I don't want it to be. And so I, I understand where this one's come from. It's the fact that pocket camp has these amazing, amazing items in it. And we don't have them in New Horizons. I know that's because of two reasons. Firstly... New Horizons is a finished game, but it's also kind of limited in what can be added. But and the other reason is that Pocket Camp people are paying a monthly membership and for microtransactions. And yeah, I don't want that in, in New Horizons. I would rather have less items than have to pay either a monthly membership or for microtransactions. Absolutely. And comparing New Horizons to New Leaf does not make it objectively better. I agree. As someone who didn't play New Leaf when it came out, I prefer New Horizons. I, I think New Leaf has got some really cool things in it, don't get me wrong. But New Horizons is so much, it's just way, way better. Just, I, I do think there's a bit of that nostalgia going on with some people. And fair go, like, I have, I have things that I have nostalgia about that I <laughs> miss and things I just I much prefer New Horizons and Tia says my one uh, one take is that time traveling isn't so bad I know a lot of people don't like time traveling but it can really help people who don't have the time to plan exact days or of certain events they can just time travel back to the day that experience it that day to experience it agreed I think that I have no problem with time travel. I I know some people consider it cheating, but this is an open-ended game. There is no finish we're aiming towards. Let people play how they want. If they want to move forward a couple of days, it's fine. If they, whether or not they have a legitimate reason, I don't think it matters. People can do what they like. Dandy says, taking a break from New Horizons is good, but you don't need to be on it all the time, meticulously perfecting every little thing. If you get burned out, it's okay to stop playing for a while. Play something different or new until you want to play it again. It's alright, nobody will hate you for taking a health break. This is another amazing, amazing point. I, in 2020, I played this game right through all of lockdown. It got me through a lot of things. But in July, June, July when the snow arrived, I was burned out. I was a little bit over it. I needed a break. And... I'm not a fan of winter, that's one of my 
takes I'm not a fan of winter in the game because I think it lasts too long the snow I I'm not the hugest fan of the snow to be honest I think it's fun but it lasts too long and I needed a break and I've also taken other breaks but um, some of which people don't even know <laughs> I, I 100% agree and I, I think it's okay to, to leave it and come back you don't have to be playing this game all the time and there are a lot of ways to help with burnout too um, which another one if I can I'm happy to make a video about that as well if people are interested in my tips for helping with Animal Crossing burnout but I think there are quite a few really good ones out there already I haven't watched them but I'm sure there are but uh, you don't have to play the game just because you're a fan there are uh, it's okay to take a month off or a few months off and then come back to it I've never played a game this consistently ever I've always taken breaks from it so do that if you want that's totally fine <laughs> But I, I, and it all comes down to that, is that it's the main thing, which is that it's your game. Play it how you want, you know, you're the one playing it. You're the one designing. Do designs you like. They don't have to look the same as what everybody else is doing or what all the content creators are doing. Put your heart into it. Make, it, make what you want. And, and be patient as well. I, um... I think a lot of people give up and and stop because they don't like what they're making but it takes time and we are nearly coming to the end of this I have not given any of my heart takes at all except for responding to yours I think a lot of you know my strong opinions about a lot of things I I as I've said the most important thing to me is it's your game play how you like <laughs> and do do what you like in it it's it's an open game it's a fun game and it should be treated that way now i'm pretty happy with this this build i think it feels much more like a home than her original one does i like the clouds on the ground it makes it feel a bit more dreamy and like it's up in the clouds which is what we want for this island and i'm happy with it so i am going to end things there thank you so much for watching this video and please please let me know in the comments what you think whether you agree with what's been said whether you disagree whether you have a different hot take let me know your hot takes in the comments below thank you so much for watching and i will see you again very soon bye